those of you that know me, watch me at night. Yeah, I got about 12 of you guys. We really do nothing but we stare at me, play these games. And, you know, they're fun. Some games get a little bit exhilarating. I yell a lot. I get pumped up. But about halfway through it, you know, comes 11, 30, 12 o'clock. It's about time for me to take my Ambien, right? Now, Ambien and me have never got along. It, I, I, it, it's not a matter of me not having to take it because it's one of those meds where if I don't take it, I'll go to sleep. It'll just take me four days just to get my ass in bed, right? Because I just it does it does nothing. I will quite literally sit in bed staring at a wall. There doesn't need to be a TV on. And if there's a TV on, forget about it. It's like sitting down on a couch but laying down. I just won't fall asleep. So anyway, I take the meds last night. I'm done playing. I'm like, okay. I finished up playing like 11.30 because I had to upload video to the JA's channel to remain relevant. I uploaded it, and I was like, well, fuck. I forgot if I took the meds. Now, this is when I start getting nervous, right? I'm a man where I don't, I don't necessarily fear death, but it's like if I'm going to take a medicine, it could even be Tylenol. I have to really reflect back to what did I do 20 minutes ago to where I would have made that sound of me eating that medicine, don't do it. So I said, okay, I'm not getting tired. It's about 11.45. I'm not feeling anything. I'm not feeling a little bit, let's go shopping on Amazon type of vibe. So this tells me I didn't take it. What do I start doing? I open up the Safari tab. What happens when you overdose on Ambien, right? <laughs> Tiredness, trouble breathing, panic attacks, brain failure, seizures. And then I see this link that I had to click on that says, um, Ambien shortens your lifespan. I click that. I watch a video. And I'm saying, how do they know this? Like, if you take somebody that, you, first off, nobody knows when you're going to die. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go. There's no way you're going to tell me that a doctor is going to be like, yeah, you would have lived three years longer. How do you know that? Doctors can't even predict when you're going to die. How can they predict when you're going to die plus three? Like, not, not an extra week or a month, but a whole three years. Then I start getting crazy. I'm like, okay, now it's 12.15. Now I really don't feel nothing. Let me take an Ambien and cut it in half, right? Because I've been on 10 for three years, four years. Ain't going to be no thing but a chicken wing to make it 15, right? So then I start Googling 15 milligrams of Ambien versus 10 over years. Sure enough, you pull everything up. You got to prescribe. You, if you have a prescription for it, your doctor knows your body. You're going to be good to go. If you don't have a prescription for it, don't do it because you might die. Like, who the fuck wrote this? Don't. Now, I, now I'm having a, a panic attack. If I don't take this, I'm not going to go to sleep. If I'm not feeling tired, let me browse Reddit to figure out what somebody has done. And then I found someone that was similar to me on Reddit. I connected with him. We became friends. It's it's all great. We've been talking all morning. Uh, but he was like, hey, I, I saw you were browsing the Ambien and, and you did a post. Because I did a post and then I took it down. So I was almost embarrassed. I'm like, I don't want to sound like the guy that's trying to get high off of Ambien. I just want to go to sleep tonight. So I said, fuck it. I took 15. I took I took 10, right? I, well, I'm assuming I took 10. I took a five or a 10 milligram. I cut it in half. But the other half in the front of the tray, like a little, little, little pill cutter jammy, like I'm an old senior citizen and I need chewable tabs. I take the front. I take the, I take the, I take the pillow, I cut it in half and put the front inside and then I take one, right? And I'm starting to get nervous now. I was like, shit, do I need to throw up? Because I might have taken that 10, right? Because when I pick up the pills, I'll usually do it while I'm live because this way I could reflect back. And if I don't know that I took it, I could just watch my previous video and then see that I took it or at least hear the sound that it makes. People say, used to say Tic Tac time, they don't do it anymore. Uh, but uh, that, that would be my telltale sound, but I didn't do that. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to take this extra five and see what happens. An hour goes by. Now I start Googling. One hour after I take the five milligrams, the half of the pill, I start Googling. And I know that I'm in trouble. Like, with Ambien, usually I'll just go buy some shit. Like I just, I just buy it. I buy like a motorcycle and wake up and be on my porch. Oh, this is what I got. Where's the rest of it? Where's the tires? 
oh, oh, I thought I had a garage that I could work on a whole motorcycle and build it from the ground up. <laughs> Get a crane engine, a pair of forks, a tire that goes to a quad. I, I have no idea what I purchased. So I start realizing, and it's at that point I realized I fucked up. I only took a five. I didn't take a 10 because usually I would be at this point not knowing what I'm doing and just wake up and do it. But I realize in my brain subconsciously, you would be here on Ambien. This is not a place for non ambient users. So what do I do? I take the other half. I the, My right shoulder is saying, take it. My left is, no, you don't need it. So I took it. And now the YouTube history begins. So I open up YouTube. This was the worst decision that I could have ever made in all of my time taking Ambien. FFF. Something found your fucking filament. That's what it's going to stand for right now. That's a 3D printer. And I start Googling. I said, okay, 3D prints. Cool. Got it. Because while I was Googling, Something came in my mind where I looked to my right and I saw my little AirPods. I love the AirPod 2s. I hate the 3s. It feels like I've got a cockroach in my ear using the third ones. And they're short and stubby. It's like a dwarf midgetized corn on a cob stuck in my ear. I don't like it. So I start looking at them and I use two sets. So I said, let me browse Amazon on how I could get a double dock AirPod. No one's going to make this thing. So I'm browsing. Nobody's made one. You just see people that are plugging it into two lightning adapters. That's not what I'm looking for. I have that already. So I said, here it comes. What happens if I made one? Yup. So going back to the original story, FFF, find your fucking filament. I'm looking at it and I'm browsing all these different videos for an hour. After I took the other half. Fingers getting a little tingly, right? Like, I, I'm about ready to go to a site that I know I should not be going on. Meanwhile, I downloaded all the Pornhub to my computer. So I am, I'm looking at the, this FFF. I said, I don't like this. Let me look up DLP. This is what happened with the t-shirts. I said, let me look up DLP and SLA. Now, the differences between find your fucking filament and these other two is find your fucking filament everybody's got. Everybody's got one. You can buy one for $8. You can buy one for $100. Buy one for $300. They all typically do the same. Everybody's had a glue gun before, right? So you get this little thing. You stick a stick inside of it. You press it down. It heats up. It spurt, spurts out. Do different colors and shit. You design something. It sticks to a heating plate, and it makes a fucking thing. Voila. You think you're a magician. No. There's no difference between you doing that or coloring in a crayon book. It's the same fucking thing. Right? Whether people want to take that, whatever, I don't give a shit. That, I was like, that's not for me. That's that's too basic. I got to go that extra mile. Like I'm an experienced 3D printer. So, I said, fuck, find your fucking filament. Let me find the next one. And then I pull up SLA and DLP. Now, these are 3D printing, but they're nothing like find your fucking filament. They're nothing like it. SLA uses a laser, okay? So you have a sheet, there's a laser with a little mirror, hits the laser, laser hits the mirror, shoots up and does the design, right? And then uh, it, it basically, as it's doing it, that light, okay, that laser hits the resin, okay, that makes it a product, okay? And I was like, mm, I don't like that. How fast is this? Now, this is prior to me doing find your fucking filament versus SLA versus DLP right? It's, it's prior to that. I'm just like, how long does it take? So I'm browsing this guy's thing. Okay. I don't like that. It's going to take me 30 minutes to make one product. I want this dual AirPod charger dock thing. Now, how do I get the, the, the printer tomorrow and make it? So then I look up DLP. Now DLP sparked most interest because what it does is there is this resin that's in a block and this little lid goes down, this, this little plunger, if you will, okay, goes down into the vat where the resin is. It goes down, this little thing, ultraviolet hits it, turns hard, it lifts up and then goes back down and does another layer. Lifts up, goes back down, does another layer. Uh, it's faster. Then FFF, it's faster than SLA, and it has 
higher. Uh, it's, uh, like, if you were to do this, okay, out of DLP, you would never see any lines. It would, however, be made out of resin. And the problem with resin is it becomes you have to cure it, right? And then if it expands. If you let's just say you're on a beach somewhere and it's outside and ultraviolet rays are hitting it, it continues to cure even though it's fully cured. So what happens with resin is it begins to break. I've done way too much research on this in a matter of an hour. Okay. <clears throat> <I've>, uh, <coughs> sorry. I was thinking about drinking the resin. <coughs> Shit. It's in the back of my throat now. <sighs> this is why I can't suck dick. So anyway, back to the story. I said, okay, what do I do? I open up another tab on Google. Top five DL Bree printers. Let's go. $2,300. Uh, no. $5,600. No. $16,400. Maybe. Open up new tab. $19,380. Maybe. Open up new tab. 98,000 special financing available. Open new tab, go to tab. So I'm browsing the shit, right? And I'm like, this is nice. But then I was like, well, if this prints out so good and I can make all this nice shit, I could do this. This is me. But then I see this big ass skull with crossbones. What's this about? There's all these warnings attached to it. I didn't see these warnings when I was watching these other videos, especially the Australian dude in the garage. I didn't see no fucking warnings. So I start browsing and it's like, oh, super harmful, super dangerous, uncured resin. Oh, so bad for your skin. Don't get it in your eye. You'll go blind. Quite literally. It's not you may go blind. It's you will go blind. You're not going to give me that definitive answer. It's like, I want to test that. Really? You're telling me I'm going to go fucking blind. Let me see it. Let me see. Bray, come here. Stick it in the fucking eye. Are you blind? No. So it's a lie. Let's sue him. So uncured resin. I said, all right, cool. So we buy this resin. Great. But then there's all this shit. You got to have tubs. So when you build these different things and you're, you're printing, you're doing nice, it creates a lot of fumes. I'm not worried about that. I've inhaled some fucked up shit in my life. I'm not worried about smelling a little bit of resin curing. That's no big deal. I'm fine. But then they're like, you have to go to plants to expose of the fluid. I said, that's not a problem. There's plenty of plants outside. I just, I just dumped them in all the bushes. <laughs> it's a different type of plant. It's a plant that you would go to like a, like a power plant, if you will. I was thinking like a plant. This is what happens on Ambien. So I said, okay. So I got to bring the fluid once I'm done building every time to a plant, like every time I print, it's, it's ideal to, to refill the container section with new resin. And as it prints, it kind of semi cures it because remember the light on the bottom, that's making it hard, but then you have to take it out and you put it underneath an ultraviolet, like how the women do the nails with the acrylics, same type of situation. And then you use a different, uh, an uh, isopropyl alcohol, 99.9, .9, if you could get it. Or if you're in uh, Australia or UK, you could get merited spirits, right? I don't know what that, I don't know what that is, but that's something that you could get. It's just something I remember. I don't, I don't have merited spirits, but I could go to CVS to get the isopropyl alcohol. So I said, okay, that's no problem. That's easy. That'll get, that starts the curing process. But then they're like, well, there's only five colors available. I was like, fuck this. I'm out. I'm going back to SLA because I don't like this. There's only five colors. But then I was pulling up the SLA thing, and then YouTube remembered that I was looking at the DLP, and now there was a thing on the side. DLP is better than SLA. I went back to that. And then I went back to the fucking tab where it was $9,000. So I start browsing the terms and the contracts to buy this fucking thing. But then they're like, you need a 24-inch venting tube. 24 inches, guys, that's like this big. I don't have that. I, I figure I'll just inhale it. Like, what's the worst that's going to happen? I'm going to get like some kind of phlegm in my throat. I'm dealing with that now. I can deal with that. Needless to say, this is going on. It's 2.48 now. And I'm like, now I start to think that I totally forgot to take the medicine. Because that's what happens with Ambien, right? Not only will it make you forget what you're doing in the future, you'll forget what you did 10 minutes ago. 
But then I'm like, am I tired? But I'm so pumped up looking up this SLA and DLP shit. Let me buy this DLP printer. So I went back to the to the one that was uh, 5,000 or 6,000. 5,000 or 6,000. The first tab that I opened up and I bought it. I immediately regretted it because it's like I saw it in an email and it confirmed my purchase. I don't want that. So I emailed them back. I said, can you refund this? I fucked up. I bought the wrong one. Oh, no worries. We'll put the right one in your cart and then we'll just refund you the difference. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I don't want that. I don't, I don't, I don't want it. I want to go home. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm on Ambien. I can't be responsible for what my fucking fingers put in. <laughs> and this, so I go on their site and I'm typing to the customer service. I'm like, yo, I got to get out of this. I, it's a different site I was looking on. I pulled up the wrong tab. They're like, no, no, don't worry about it. It's it's not, you just sent us the link to the one you guys said, but it's on a different site. They said, yeah, we probably have it in the warehouse. Send us the link to that. No, dude, just, I want out. I'm going to call my credit card right now. I want out. <laughs> Chat disconnected. And now I'm fucking tired. It's 3.15. I got to go to bed. I go to bed and I wake up and I totally fucking forget that I bought all this shit. And I come to work and I'm like, Bree, I bought this fucking printer. She's like, yes. I said, fuck it. I guess I'm keeping it. So now I got $10,000 fucking printer set that's coming here. They have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to just pour. I don't see why. Mm, hold on. I got this phlegm. I don't want to gag. I don't see why. <laughs> I don't see why you just can't take the uncured resin and pour it in the toilet bowl. People will do a bacon grease all the fucking time. Bacon grease is bad for you when it spurts up and hits you in your fucking face. So uncured resin can't be any different if it's in the water. Because it's uncured and it's resin and it's diluted. So now I got this fucking printer that I have no idea what I'm going to do with. Oh, chat disconnected. Fuck you, man.